this quick update in the RX-7, which is right behind me. So, the garage is trashed. I'm trying not to uh, focus on that too much. But, um, I did get something from my buddy Jeff. It's a drive-by-wire throttle body adapter. And it attaches the GM LS3 to the FD upper intake manifold. So, I'll get a little video together of that and uh, have a bunch of updates with like all this vibrant line down here. Uh, PTFE stuff instead of uh, nylon is what I had before. So it would be better for less permeable so you don't smell fuel. It's a little bit harder to do like tight radius type stuff, but overall should handle temperature a little better than what I had. Um, previously I had uh, improved racing type stuff, very good stuff. It's just not ideal for long-term E85 usage. That's the way I see it, at least. So I'll run through the setup and what I have and keep you guys updated. All right, cheers. So previously, I had re-drilled all this out for a Series 5 FC RX-7. Um, what they ended up doing now is I have... That's a massive vacuum leak. Yeah, so you see light coming out of there. It would have been great. Uh, it's still set up for what I've made it for, um, just not for an FD uh, upper. The one downside of this FFE setup is you have small bolt holes here and large here, which makes it so this always comes out that way due to their bolt pattern setup. Terrible, terrible, ugly. <clears throat> really, the way it should always be is this way which instead of going this way, uh, I'm taking up all this room, it now goes back this way, which means you could actually put coils right here if you wanted to, or free up that space. So that's why I'm stoked to uh, be sent one of these. This is Jeff Pritchett. I believe it's his logo. It's Pritchett Manufacturing Electronics, something like that. Really cool. He actually did an O-ring gasket, and this should fit direct which I already made. Oh, you can't see it, but there's a, a gasket in here from this type of stuff that I made. So, that'll be cool. Just, uh, I'll drop that on there now and get you guys a little video. In all of 30 seconds, you can blast off these four nuts, drop on the new throttle body uh, adapter plate, and you can see that there's very nice clearancing for the primary, and for the secondaries, the vac vacuum actuator rod doesn't have any clearance issues, which is awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Um, so yeah, there's two O-rings included in the kit. I'm assuming one is for a larger throttle body. Um, this is the 90 millimeter O-rings already inset, and hardware is included. So it'll just be this drops on. And because these four holes are identical, you can flip this either direction and be good to go. So, no longer uh, needing this gasket. And he did include hardware for me right here. So, you're going to be good to go with a very simple, they actually make a new smaller profile uh, throttle body, but a very low profile drive-by-wire setup. So, one thing that's cool, this clearance is actually slightly less, yeah, slightly less than, uh, than previous. So it's even tighter to the intake manifold. Awesome. So, really stoked to try this out. Um, this will be running two and three quarter inch uh, charge piping into it. So, pretty high velocity and then it splits into the primary and then these will be controlled, vacuum actuated. So, excited. One more step in the car. All right, just a quick little tidy up of here. So I'm gonna have the LMS EFI um, fast acting air intake temperature sensor here. Um, this is gonna be a block off plate for either a uh, map sensor for, so there's a map sensor that's gonna be in front of the throttle body and one behind. Um, depending on what works better with this hole or this hole, I'll put the map sensor on either side. 
also test and see what flows better kind of to get a more consistent nap result. This one I know has a very small uh, hole about that deep, which would probably get a very good pressure reading without any other like crazy velocity offset or something like that. Really, map sensor shouldn't give a shit, but just in case. Now, wire is facing back like it's supposed to all along. I have my other fast acting air temp. It's going to be intercooler side, so it's going to be charge piping, essentially from the turbo, it's going to be down into the inlet somewhere around here. Um, that's going to be pre-turbo inlet air. Then I'll have charge air temperature, which is what's going through the intercooler. That sensor is going to be this one right here. So um, between the two, I kind of figure out compressor efficiency and where it's landing on the map. Um, like I said, it's a uh, throttle mass flow. So I have map sensor before and after, and then I also have EMAP in the exhaust. Um, so three map sensors that I can think of off the top of my head. This actuation here is going to need a solenoid. Maybe I'll make the solenoid bracket off of this and just drop it right to here. Because this just needs a quick little vacuum line. And uh, that reservoir is probably going to sit somewhere on the firewall or hidden around there. So it's about time to do this right. So this is a current Dash 6 line that I put together. Um, it was made exceptionally long just for mock-up reasons. I wanted to figure out what the heck I can do with fittings. Um, essentially, I'm going to go maybe four, almost five inches shorter than this to get that loop much tighter. Um, this is Dash 6, and if you look at the new Dash 6 comparatively, it is a lot smaller. Um, these are now the Vibrant, so it's PTFE lined, Vibrant, um, with, wow, awesome. <laughs> Trying to drop everything. Um, full flow fittings, which compared to these are substantial. Um, it's just a better way of doing it. Better for high temperature, better for, the Vibrant fittings are, <laughs> really badass as far as keeping internal diameters where you want them and keeping those as small as possible. The one downside of this is it does not bend as well as the simply nylon lines, but not too worried about that considering they're smaller hoses and better for high temp anyways. I can just kind of rattle where I need to and uh, it'll end up being tidier. So getting ready. Another step, another small little project. So I have about 30 of these different fittings and different sizes, and I'll be running through with um, turbo coolant, uh, wastegate coolant, turbo oil, which goes from here over there, turbo drain, which goes down to the dash 10 that I welded on with Tony years ago. There's a dash six for the water right there. Oh, where are you, Dash 10? There you are, right there. So, without showing too much my like proprietary stuff, that's uh, that's what you get. And then, um, so I'll have oil coolers going to go off here. That's going to T to each oil cooler, and then T on the way back to each oil cooler. So, lots of progress in the next month. Need to finally get this plumbing figured out, and then. I'll have the whole car jacked up and I'll do all the hard lines, which are the NICOP, all underneath to two, not three, two Bosch 044s, which everyone will tell me is plenty. Uh, I'm sure it is. I really should have done three and just done um, check valves in each that way, but I'll do two, see how it goes. And then I can get back to work on the interior and the craziness that I have left on that. So um, I'm gonna be taking all this apart fully, getting rid of the damaged and uh, sound deadening, cleaning, PUR15, uh, prepping it all for the magic shit has to go. So I guess I never really did this before, but uh, I apologize to the clickbait in the last video. I know a lot of you who were in the loop on that Thank you for the thumbs up, I thought that was hilarious. 
Um, otherwise, I pissed off probably oh, a good 85, 90% of the murder community. One shot. It's not bad. Uh, don't mind being hated. Uh, really, it's kind of. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's my money, it's my car. Uh, I'm giving this content for you guys because eventually some of it's going to be informational. Right now, it's not. Um, I'm just saying, like, look, here it is. Here's the shit that I'm doing. Hopefully you guys can enjoy it. Hopefully you build stuff for yourself. Um, keep grinding. It's a hustle. So be good. If you like this, great, awesome. If you don't, don't care. But uh, enjoy. Best of luck building yours. And uh, see you in the next one.